We're back, people, and today we're bringing down film on Tank Bigsby, Jaguars running back. Really like what I've seen out of him this preseason. He's looked really, really good. His vision has been outstanding, showing off his athleticism each play. Hard-nosed, tough runner to bring down. I feel like he could easily become like a 1B to the uh, ETN's 1A rusher in this offense. Does a great job with his finish, uh, vision here. This guy shoots up field, sort of sets that edge, and he's just working down the line of scrimmage, sees these guys... Uh, win the leverage battle, have the outside leverage. So he works out the back of these blocks, and then he presses up to these blocks very well. He does a great job. He knows how to work the line of scrimmage. He presses up to the blocks, which gets everyone sort of commit down to the inside, and then he presses and cuts the outside with great lateral quickness, like very efficient with his footwork here. To you know, he does it like a little double press, double press and cut. Very nice footwork. Everything very smooth. And then he takes a hit like. Guy tries to drop a big shoulder into him, and he still, even though he's going out of bounds, he's able to stay on his feet. That's showing off some core strength contact balance. Really like what I've seen out of Bigsby this preseason. Definitely a player to watch for the Jaguars. And honestly, wouldn't be surprised if down the line he even gives up more snaps than ETN at some point. But obviously that that's not coming yet. Some people are a little overreacting to it, but he looks really good. I was a big fan coming out of Auburn, and he'll be a really nice compliment back in this offense. I like how Bigsby... Even, you know, grinds out these tough yardage, just working up the middle, five-yard runs, get up the field, wasting no time. This is just decisive. They're running, you know, outside zone with some split zone action, working away from the flow here. And he's just reading. And man, a line of scrimmage down, reading the flow. These guys all are on the outside hat of these offensive players right here. He sees this linebacker, presses up into it, doesn't want to get hit by the, the untouched man here. So he stays tight. He's just anticipating this lane here. Get up, get skinny. Get up field, burst through, pick up a nice five yards just with quick vision, quick decisive play style, no wasted movements, just north and south, really like that out of a rookie. He's done a really good job in the preseason just finding cutback lanes on these zone runs, just reading, pressing, get up. He's got some very good vision and then get out in space, make some people miss. He fights for extra yardage, really like to see this stuff. You know, weak, uh, weak side outside zone here and he just instantly finds this cutback lane, just reading, you know, instant penetration here. He's feeling this flow, already anticipating to get up, and he starts pressing up here, but he feels the leverage of this defender, his momentum going real hard inside, so he cuts it all the way back into space. Look what he does. He doesn't just completely try to run around to the space. He presses up into the block, which keeps the defender here, presses up into the block, and then bounces to the outside. No, the guy has no chance to get there. Very effective work from him. They end up calling like a hold on that, but he is doing exactly what his job is supposed to be. Very good, high level, like his mental processing has been really good for a rookie. De definitely something, you know, being behind like a battle line in Auburn, I think helped him out because, you know, he gets some holes and he definitely knows what to do with do it when he gets the opportunity. We get to see him on some gap scheme, counter action, just working off the back of his blocks, and then just has the speed to get to the edge, beat the linebacker. Nice things to see here. Pretty solid run. Even, I mean, some of the more like five, four or five yard runs are more impressive because this is just like a big lane. But he definitely understands his job here. Good footwork in the backfield. He wants to work off the back of his blocks. If he just instantly shoots to the outside, like takes an aggressive angle to the space, this linebacker is going to really hard commit to that and take that away. But he has a good job just staying patient, staying square subtly getting to the outside, pressing up to these blocks, making this linebacker sort of stay tight to it, and then get to the speed to the corner once he gets close enough. Very good work, high-level, uh, savvy veteran play out of the rookie there. Some more good vision working on the inside right here, inside zone, quickly reading the blocks, uh, working off this defender right here, this one tech. He's just instantly, you know, that's his read. Read this defender, work out the middle. He's working off this double team. He presses up into it presses up to this block, and then commit laterally, which then allows at least this offensive lineman to get up to this linebacker as well. He stays patient, stays square, allows the line to at least get hands on the linebacker, which gives him enough time to burst through this hole, get skinny, pick up nine yards, more yards than he should, just because he's allowing these blocks to develop and getting up to them and then, you know, making a quick lateral cut behind the line. It's very hard for defenders to read that. Another rice run here from Tank, just pressing up to the line. Would like to see him not stop his feet there, but he's still able to get to the outside. He's got that creativity to him when things are not exactly looking good. There's just, all this is covered up. They're filling every gap. Very difficult for him to shoot this. And he feels the flow. He sees the edge defender. The guy who's a force kind of shoots inside. So he just gets to the outside, sees that he has the speed to capture the edge, uh, run through some arm tackles, make some guys miss, even direct some blocking out in space. Just very good job creating on his own when things aren't blocked up super well 
nice to see that um, really quality 11 yard gain there just he's very advanced for uh just being a rookie in this league getting into some week one action we're gonna watch tank here on some more outside split zone he looks very comfortable here i like how he's you know pretty versatile to work on all types of runs we've seen outside zone inside zone some counter all look pretty comfortable but i really like his fit on those outside zone runs which is pretty nice because i like etn on the gap scheme runs too so seeing tank work on these zone runs in this offense just feel the flow of this play he's anticipating the cutback lane but wants to get back on he sees this guy's unblock and he's able to you know burst up field press these press to these blocks right here to avoid this but then get skinny through that hole to work back to find the cutback lane grind out some yards to pick up eight yards it's very good work taking perfect angles uh you only see like the most advanced backs doing this it doesn't seem like anything too crazy but this is what a lot of them do a lot of the very good backs when there's like not much to go off not much to go off of sometimes a lot of guys they'll just instantly run through this which where the flow of the play is going it's very easy to read a lot of guys would end up getting there even though it looks like it's gonna be a big hole but these guys are coming off he would scrape over the top and it gets 35 to hard commit and then he hits the cutback lane just amazing work exactly what you want to teach your young running backs last play that we're gonna break down for tank we get to watch him on some duo here actually yeah this is duo can look like inside zone but this looks like duo to me which just means he's reading you know the mic there which is pretty basic like to see that running backs are capable of this i think he's just reading 46 the whole way here and once he sees 46 sort of just sit about to fill this hole he's ready to press up cut everyone sort of falls into this they have heavy double teams that's what duo is heavy double teams here this guy gets isolated to the left side these guys can just block straight down and everything gets all congested to the inside you're taught to do this and then you just boom press and bounce it up and then have the speed to hit the corner he's definitely a pretty good athlete uh, i wouldn't say he's like the most explosive guy but he's pretty explosive considering he's got some good size to him as well he's definitely like can pack the punch with his hits he's very physical i just like his all-around game want to see more out of the passing game i think uh which would be fun but i just he's got some like that bend to him as well he can bend get skinny through those holes he's very difficult to tackle and he's going to be a very fun player to watch in this league excited to see him you know with the starters during the regular season i think he's definitely that number two guy for this offense and eventually will be like that 1b to etn's 1a and could like i think he's a little more advanced than you know etn was as a rookie so maybe he ends up taking over that job eventually we'll see down the line but he looks very promising in his limited opportunity so far in this preseason so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave that comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace